I'm the girl in the cafe and I just received the DeLonghi Magnifica home espresso machine. I've heard loads about this machine so let's open the box, see what's inside, get it up and running and I'll let you know what the coffee tastes like. days to play around with the DeLonghi Magnifica bean to cup machine and I think that it's going to be a good option for people at home. I think that the drink options are nice and simple which is what you want from a machine like this. This is the interface so you can have an espresso, a dual espresso or there are options for longer black coffees as well. There is one button, the cappuccino button, that actually tells the machine to make a coffee using milk. So it actually heats and froths the milk first and then the espresso. So you need to make sure that you change the uh, hot water nozzle with the milk tank first. Now depending on how frothy you like your milk, you can actually change the texture of your milk by using the latte crema system in the milk tank and using the dial to change the frothiness. Uh, on the higher setting, which is the frothiest milk, seems to make microfoam dense enough to make a good creamy cappuccino. Shall we make one? separately for some reason you want heated textured milk maybe you have kids or you like a cheeky hot chocolate all you have to do is press the cappuccino button twice and then adjust the froth dial as to your liking because I'm a barista usually in a busy cafe the coffee making process actually is a little bit more involved and takes more time so when I'm at home I actually really appreciate the convenience of just pressing a button this also has a self rinsing system which saves on time, again, and peace of mind. When you're done using the milk, just change the dial to clean and it'll self clean and flush out itself. A couple of things I like about the DeLonghi Magnifica is that the grinder settings are actually located in the hopper, which makes them really accessible. There's also quite a large range on the dial. It goes from one to seven. There's also a ground coffee chute which makes it easy if you like to use a separate grinder of your own or you buy pre-ground coffee. Although as a barista, I would always recommend that you use freshly ground coffee beans every time. And I can't stress enough the importance of sourcing really good quality specialty coffee beans. It would make such a difference in your cup. I also like that this coffee machine comes with a filter that you install. If you're from a place like me that has really, really hard, horrible water, then it's really good to have a filter in the water tank. Uh, it's supposed to last two months apparently, but it may last longer if you're like me and you use bottled or filtered water instead of tap. Generally, this is pretty easy to set up. I did use the picture manual a little bit in the beginning just to make sure that I was installing everything correctly, but the interface is really straightforward through using the buttons and arrows. I like that there's also an energy saving function and you can actually set the machine to many, many different languages, which I think is pretty cool. There are also other standard features that are really handy, like an auto shut off, a removable drip tray, and a level indicator so that you know when to empty and change the tray. All we need to do now is see what the coffee tastes like. Shall we try? I'm pretty happy with that. If you want to know more about the DeLonghi Magnifica, visit the DeLonghi website in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos like this. Visit thegirlinthecafe.co.uk for everything. You can read my blogs, hear my latest podcast, and also see all the cool things that are happening via my social channels. 
But for now, cheers! <laughs>